Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and today we're going to be reviewing the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie 4 inch action figures from Jack's Pacific. Normally I'd have it fall from the sky, but they're all open and they're blister cards. You can't put them back in the box. So here's some B-roll of it instead. There's a wave of four figures of Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, and I found all of these at my local targets. Thankfully, I didn't have to go on eBay to find all those, and I was super excited for these figures because when the first movie came out, there was little to no merch out there during the time because of how many times it got redesigned. So when this movie came out, we got a finalized design, we got something to work with, and I'm super excited to check out these toys because I I've wanted Sonic movie action figures for a while. So now that we finally got them, I'm excited to see how these things look. Which brings me to my question of the day. Uh, how many of you are excited for this new Sonic movie? I am super duper excited. I, I cannot wait for this movie to come out. And also, who do you think should be the villain for Sonic Movie 3? Metal Sonic or Shadow? Uh, I'm kind of shooting for Metal Sonic. I think that would be an interesting situation because they could probably take the, a quill from Sonic and tap into that speed and then make a, a robot out of that them blend in with the movie universe so i would love to see that but without me rambling on for too much longer let's get into this sonic figure review and here are all four figures from the four inch line uh normally i would just drop them down and make it look elegant and make it look nice unfortunately this is four figures and i'm gonna i'm pretty sure i'm gonna screw it up but like i said we're gonna be going through all four figures kind of like uh, i don't know shotgunning them i don't think that's the proper word for it I know there's a word for it, but when you're on camera, you, you forget stuff. But anyway, we're going to be going through each figure, mostly going over the articulation. They're mostly the same, except for Eggman, or I'm sorry, Robotnik. We'll go over the accessories, pros, cons, each figure, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. But first, we're going to start with Sonic, because he's the, he's the main character of the movie. The main character of the, the whole franchise. In fact, it's in the name. <laughs> so, we're, we're going to go over the blue boy over here. Man, this blue Justice action figure looks incredible. Look at him. Okay, in all seriousness, he actually does look pretty good. These are all $10 action figures, so I'm not going to hold them as to a high regard as something like SH Figure Arts or Figma or anything, because that's not fair. It's a completely different demographic. But um, I will point out something that is probably going to be a big turnoff for these figures. But before I get into that, let me go into... All the things I love about it. Uh, okay, there is a little bit of a, a paint mess up right here on top. That, that's going to vary from figure to figure. And I notice how like it looks like the eye isn't like fully pressed in. I tried pressing it in even more and we're, we're not getting any movement. But that's fine. It is going to vary from figure to figure. Uh, I love the way he looks. Like Now that they narrowed it down to like a solid design. like Translating from movie to action figure, I, I think they did a great job. But if you would have shown somebody this figure, let's say like 10 years ago, and say, hey, look, this is a Sonic action figure, they're going to say, this looks horrible. This is not Sonic. <laughs> but with the context of the Sonic movie being a thing, like I, I think he actually looks really good, especially on camera. Like I'm looking at the camera view right now, and I, I just, I absolutely love the way this thing looks. Like When I saw this in the store, I got so ecstatic. I'm like, oh, the toy hunting has begun. Let's go. <laughs> but... But I'm happy with this collection. My favorite thing about, like, you know, like just Sonic and Knuckles in, in, in particular is the details in the shoes. We got the treads over here. And then, like, you can see, like, the little yellow. I won't, I, it'd normally be a buckle, but I don't even know what that would be. Uh, but like, we got the yellow part right here. We got the details in the socks. I, I just love the detail in the socks. I don't know why. It's, it's such a stupid attention to detail, like, when I like, get excited for it. But it, it gets me excited <laughs> to... <laughs> so calm down <laughs> and like I, I just love the shoes but it makes me wish there was like real life versions of these shoes for Sonic and Knuckles I would buy two pair one for me to actually wear and another one to just keep in good condition because I know they're gonna get smelly and gross and we don't want that so buy two pair uh, but yeah we also see an extra quill uh, like, like on the back because I had the diamond select statue and they didn't have this quill back here they had the extra one on his head which is accurate but we never seen this one. I don't know if that's just a new design for the the new movie. I don't know if that was something they missed in a Diamond Select figure. I have to watch the movie again because I've only seen the movie like twice. But like with the attention to detail, like with the like, the quills and stuff like that, and the, the the fur, I guess, like everything looks great. 
he's a great looking movie Sonic figure. Unfortunately, his biggest flaw is art his articulation, which is that's the main reason why you buy these figures because you want that articulation. But it it's not designed well at all. So the way it works now. I'm not sure if the regular 4-inch Sonic figures are going to go this route as well. I only have one or two 4-inch figures, and none of them do this. But th since these are new, they might go with this forward. I don't know. But each point of articulation has seems to be like a locking mechanic. So, like, each of these are mushroom pegs, like, pointing in. Even, like, the elbows. Like, where you see all that articulation right here, I guess. Like, like that, that, that movement. I don't know. All of that is all on this side of the fi uh, figure and the uh, mushroom peg goes up actually I'll pull it out for you because you're probably gonna see it pop out yourself so this is the way it works and then it l seems to lock in three different positions thankfully like the mushroom peg it seems to be made of like a somewhat soft plastic so if it does pop out your chances of breaking it aren't as high compared to like the Jazzwares figures because they're their mushroom pegs are very tiny and they've snapped off very easily but like even just trying to move his arm up like it'll pop out and it's really annoying this might be a figure to figure basis like the joints are very tight right out of the box especially on sonic so i would say play with him in a warm environment definitely break him in because like this like this arm is mostly moving fine again you feel the locking but you can move free it so the fact that you gotta break it in is kind of annoying. Um, I'm not sure if I'd recommend this for like stop motions. Again, after you break it in, I'm sure it's fine. I, you gotta do your morning stretches, I guess. Oh, he lost an arm. Okay, okay, he's back. He's good. He's good. Uh, even the legs are like that as well. The knees. Again, like three locking positions. Uh, the wrists and the ankles, they're on ball pegs. Uh, the ankles, they do well. They make sure he's well sure-footed. He's not very top-heavy either, so thank God. Uh, the wrists, on the other hand, because there's not much room, uh, it acts more like a swivel than anything. And also, these do act as bicep swivels as well. So you can do that. Uh, you can do it on the knees as well, but because the way they're designed, it's not really recommended, but you can do it if you want. This little like extra notch right here, uh, on the prototype, it wasn't there, but it looks like that is the final design for the mass production line because I even see it on the two and a half inch figures. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they did that. I don't know if that's just for the figures or if the second movie is going to make that stand out more. I don't know. So we'll see when the movie comes out uh, later next month, I guess. But overall, he's a great looking figure. I'm not sure if I recommend it for kids though because they might break it very easily or at least lose the pieces because. They're going to pop off somewhat easily. Like, it, I'm sure it's fine enough for collectors. But as a play toy for a kid, it's it's tough to recommend. But if you like this look, you're probably going to buy it anyway. Let's be real. He also comes with a snowboard. Every figure comes with an accessory. Uh, he has little pegs on his feet. Uh, you, you, you just pop them on. I guess you can do both feet if you want to do that. Uh, I don't recommend doing that, though. So we're going to position his legs but again no if he's not fully broken in posing him is gonna be a little annoying but I mean there he is he looks pretty good I like him but now let's move on to tails ah <sighs> tails I'm, I'm gonna be real this is the most disappointing out of the line mainly because it's hard for him to stand up. He, he almost looks fine, but it, it took a little bit of struggle to do that. So, like, when he comes in the box, thankfully his tail is articulated, he comes like this. Uh, but then you got to position him down, but then his feet, like, are kind of short compared to his tail. Then you got to, like, bend it a little bit to make sure he's, like, well-footed. But it, it, it does stretch the mushroom peg a little bit, so you got to be very, very careful with that. Normally, I'd just pose it to the side, but... That doesn't work too well either because the tails are very heavy. Uh, like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it, it's tough to pose this one. Uh, since the limbs are also very tiny and very skinny, it is like nerve-wracking to play with this thing. But this one seems to be well broken into. So it's it's fine to pose. I'm still, still nervous to play with it though. I'm not going to lie, but there we go. Uh, and of course, uh, Tails 
his legs being there it makes it a little bit tough to, to pose the legs, but you can do that if you want to. And of course, you can move the head freely. You can do that with Sonic too. I probably didn't mention to do that. Whoopsies. Uh, but you can see all the the texture on him. I mean, I think I think it looks cute. Um, wait, is this a ball peg? I think this may be a ball peg. I thought it was a mushroom peg because you can see like it, the stretching being there. But like, I don't know. I mean, if it's a ball peg, then sure, that's a fine enough design. Cool. But I feel like I'm stretching it though, so I feel like I'm breaking it. And apparently, Tails comes with a little blaster. I don't know what role it's gonna play in the movie, but I'm excited to see him use it. Uh, he, he's gonna come up like 007. He's just gonna shoot the camera. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm definitely adding that to the thumbnail. That looks great. Overall, yeah, he looks cute. He looks fine, but like, he's definitely the most disappointing figure out of the set. But it's Tails. If you like Tails, you're gonna like it. Now let's move on to Knuckles. Now, when you're looking at Knuckles head on like this, he looks silly. But when you like turn him just a little bit, he looks so much better, doesn't he? So like he's like a fusion between Sonic Boom and uh, regular canon uh, Knuckles, I guess. I almost said Sonic, whoops. As an action figure, he looks kind of awkward. In a movie, he looks fantastic. But again, if you're looking at him dead on, like he just looks silly. Look at that. But, again, from the side, though, like, he looks so good. Like, I, again, I love the boots. Like, look at the attention to the boots. Look at those treads. I, I, I want real-life boots of this. And, like, he's designed just like the rest of them, where, like, the articulations click. But, like, again, he's very easy to break in. Uh, I had his leg pop off on me, so that was a little annoying. But, again, like, it's mostly designed well. Um, The, the moon crest, uh, it's uh, lightly painted on. Even the prototype was like that. And it kind of looks like that in the movie as well, so I think they did a fine job with that. Overall, he looks great. Uh, but if you ever had a Knuckles figure before in the past, you're, you're going to have the same problem here where his quills are going to really are, like mess with his head articulation. You can force it through. So then he can look like that. And that looks fantastic. And he even tilts his head a little bit. I don't recommend doing that, though. It's probably going to ruin the figure. But, hey, it looks great. Oh, yeah, especially when you, like, when you, like curve it up like that. Mm. Yeah. Sonic's going to pay. Yeah, look at that. But overall, very solid. And also, shout out to Tyler, because he brought it to my attention that apparently the first wave of the Knuckles figures on the back of it uh, it shows Robotnik's name uh, being Knuckles. And I gotta find one of those, keep it in the box, because that's gonna be so valuable, so collectible. Oh, yeah, he comes with a snowboard too. Uh, uh, he has holes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You pop it in. Uh, firmly grasp it with your foot. For the love. There we go. Okay, so then we're gonna, we're gonna push him down. Push that, that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. That That's gonna be tough to make him look good while snowboarding but ah, ah there we go yeah nah, he, he's coming after you hedgehog look out he is blurry but yeah here he comes he's coming after you ah. but now I can bring in Robotnik look at him like I have a Jim Carrey action figure I don't remember ever having a Jim Carrey action figure but look at him he looks great but this figure is it's silly to me it is more articulated than it needs to be like his shoulders like they like have multiple locking positions which again is annoying i don't like that but it's fine uh double jointed elbows for some reason double jointed knees for some reason like if you're ready for Eggman to do hardcore parkour you can do that he also got like a swivel like up here in his leg no ab crunch though so he's not he's not doing flips anytime soon but uh, look at that gold on the back of his foot I forget what that's for uh, but his uh, his arms don't go completely straight but I think that's fine I think that looks okay and I like when he's like <laughs> Like, I love the way this looks. Like, it doesn't scale well with the other 4-inch figures all that well. But I do recommend picking them up anyway. And you'll see why next week when I review the 2.5-inch figures. And, of course, Robotnik, and, well, Jim Carrey, 
has to one-up everyone. Uh, not only because he has more articulation compared to everybody else, but he also comes with more accessories on a technicality. So he also comes with this egg drone, which the drones also like open up. Yeah, it's kind of tough to get your fingernail in there. If you don't have a fingernail, you're not going to have a good time. But uh, there you go. And there, that, that's how it looks on there as well. It, it, it's all right. It's a fine enough accessory. Um, again, like this is like having no context to the movie. Like I haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm not like, oh my god, I'm so happy it came with it. I mean, it's it's cool, but I gotta see the movie first to be even more excited for it, you know. But he also comes with a latte and he can hold it. Look at that. I love that so much. I have him holding it on my shelf. I, I, this figure is so silly. And I love it so much. I feel like this is what Sonic 06's Eggman should have looked like. I think it would have looked fine. I, I love this. I'm so happy I have this. Again, 10 years ago, you would have said no. If anything, they probably would have brought up the Mario movie when it comes to his action figures. Because I feel like this would actually blend in very well with like the Mario movie action figures. Just because of like, how not accurate to the game it is. But, I love it. And this figure is so silly. Like it's oh yeah, he also has like a hinge on his ankle. He doesn't have uh, ball peg ankles. He has a hinge instead. Uh, no ankle rockers. But look at him. Look at him. He's like so excited to try and defeat Sonic, and he is caffeined up. Oh my god! And, he, and, he's, and he's ready to shoot with a drone. I don't know what the drone does because I haven't seen the movie yet. But uh, look at that. Isn't that silly? I love it. Oh my god, I love this. So my overall thoughts on this this line of action figures, uh, they're not perfect. Uh, like for some, I don't like the, the the locking mechanisms when it comes to the, the, sh the articulation. Like not just the shoulders, like it's, it's everywhere. Um, other figures have probably done it and this is probably my first time really messing with it like that, especially on a scale figure like this. Um, the joints were a little bit tight, but this is probably going to vary from figure to figure. I mean, I still recommend getting these. These are cool looking. I think anybody who loves the Sonic movie, they're going to want these figures. Uh, but there is also a set of two and a half inch figures. And you get all four of them in one batch. And they're fine too, which I'll review those later. But these look great. I don't regret picking these up. I love these a lot, actually. Despite their flaws, I do love these. I love the way they look. They have a great aesthetic. And now I have a shelf just dedicated to Sonic Movie merch, and I love it. You can find these things on Amazon, uh, Target, and Walmart's websites. Uh, I would have links in the description for them, but at least for Amazon, it's like a just a Sonic and Knuckles double pack. That's about it. But everywhere else, um, there is no store pickup options. You actually got to go in-store and try and find these things. But I can at least help you out by like seeing if the stores have them in stock uh i don't think target's gonna allow you to do that though but walmart will at least let you but it's a very generic skew it will just show all four figures in one listing so i wish you luck again don't buy these on ebay like they're not worth the 30 to 40 dollars a piece like don't let fomo get to you like, like this movie is gonna be running for probably a couple of months and during these three or four months, like you're going to be able to find these figures in store. You might have to travel from store to store, but you can do it. But just be very patient. Don't give them your money. And that's going to be it for the review. So if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's going to be my social media as well as my Instagram because I do toy photography. I haven't done pictures of these toys yet in particular, but I do have some Sonic shots up there somewhere. But I do love these figures. Uh, I wish you luck on trying to find these things out in the wild because as of right now, they're tough to get, but I'm pretty sure they'll get easier over time. Just be patient. But man, I love these figures. I'm so happy I bought these. And I hope you enjoy them too. So again, I wish you luck. Thank you for watching. I love you guys to death. And I'll see you on the next one. So peace, peace.